say that the printed word is dead. But every so often, there comes a headline so striking, so indefectible, that its writer has definitely crafted its alphabetical contents as Michelangelo once spawned the David from a single block of marble. This is such a headline. Bellhead meddled in news coverage. For not only is the headline subject Kevin Crawl, the president of Bell Media, in fact, the head of Bell, but also, it appears, he's a bellhead. <laughs> when the CRTC, after decades of inactivity paralleled only by Mount Fuji, finally did something on bundling cable packages, Mr. Crawl, whose company owned CTV, erupted. <laughs> after the unbundling announcement, CRTC chairman Jean-Pierre Blay appeared on BNN to talk about the decision. Bell owns BNN. The Bell head called CTV News, which also Bell owns, banning the head of the CRTC from appearing on Don Martin's power play, local newscast, and he would have been cut from a story on the 11 p.m. national newscast had chief anchor Lisa Laflemme, for whom my heart burns with the heat <laughs> and fire of a thousand suns. Ah, Laflemme. How the flame burns for Laflemme. Laflemme. La femme est incroyable. <laughs> uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Ms. La Flemme. And she has, every time I ever called her, said no. <laughs> and the story ran. The bellhead later apologized for meddling. If anything should be unbundled, it should be the near monopoly bell holds on the media in this country. Now, the CBC is far from perfect. But I am free to say what I want. For instance, were I to say that CBC President Hubert Lacroix was a giant tool who couldn't program a VCR, let alone a network, then I would be free to do so.